Hello guys, um, yep, yep, today is not a music reaction, I just wanted to talk about our, uh, the L's Nigeria got last night. So apparently, one thing that Nigerians have pride ourselves in is the fact that we dominate in combat sports. I've always used that as an excuse. Um, until our lady started um, repping us in athletics and um, are really repping us very well in athletics, like we, we've done so well in the um on tracks and even in the long jump you can see we've been doing well and until then combat sports were the, was the team that i used to brag for my country so at that time we had anthony joshua with the belt recently we have kamar rusman we had kamar rusman with the belt we have um, israel adesanya with the belt so we had a lot of champions with the belt that were really um being in that top light um sports They've been in that top spot, you know, in combat, and they're really dominating in their field in combat. So, but yesterday, apparently, um, Anthony Joshua lost his fight, and um, we got two L's yesterday, two big L's for Nigeria yesterday. Anthony Joshua lost his fight, and the one that shocked us uh, more was Kamarusman's defeat. Kamarusman has been on a very long streak, second longest streak. After Anderson Silva, that's the streak that um, Kamarosman has been keeping. In fact, I even saw him as someone that nobody could defeat, could defeat in the division. I didn't um, believe that Leon Edwards was going to be able to defeat Kamarosman. Especially the fact that he has lost to Kamaru prior to their fight yesterday. Apparently, I think there's going to be a trilogy, of course. Um, I think there's going to be a rematch and there's going to be a trilogy. Um, but yesterday, Kamarosman lost and he didn't just lose by points or, or you know he lost he got killed man he got killed with a very vicious kick so up until then up until the fifth round when Kamarusman got that kill Kamarusman was dominated he was dominating that fight he had he, he won i think he lost a round but he was winning all other three rounds up until the fifth round when he wanted to go you know for the wanted to face him off with the fists wanted to face Emilio Edwards with the fist and surprisingly he came with a kick. Leon Edwards gave him a first fetch him, you know. He first gave him a fake jab with his left with his left hand and um Kamarusman just trying to avoid the left jab. He got his head he, sh he, he shifted his head right into a very vicious kick and that's how Kamarosma was slept. He was slept and I like the fact that he took his L, you know, he didn't give excuses, he took the L. In fact, there's nothing you can say about that. Man took his L. So it was really a crazy one for Kamarosman and man, it was just intense. Yesterday was really very intense. So aside Kamaru's loss, which um we hope he gets his best back and I'm really happy for Leon Edwards. I think he deserves it and he's so humble and down to earth. Um, after the fight, you could see him video calling his mom and crying on the phone with the belt, telling her that I told her he was going to bring the belt home and everything. So, um, for AJ Zone, Anthony Joshua, um, I think everybody hoped Anthony Joshua would win the fight, but we all knew that technic technically um, wise, when yeah, we talk about technique, the more technical boxer is, is Yusek. Usek is more technical than, than AJ and um, we knew we were hoping that AJ would just bring the belt home based on the fact that we are his fans and we love him, you know. And um yeah, he, he did his best. To be honest, that, that was one of, that was a great fight to watch. AJ did his best, he won some rounds, he adjusted his game, you could see that he was going more for the body, throwing his shots more. And um in fact, if you look at the ninth round you see that AJ really came out swinging and came out guns blazing in the ninth round and he took out took over that ninth round so i think that ninth round was like a 10 8 but on the tenth round we said came back we said went gun blazing and we said performance in the tenth round kind of like outshone ages performance in the ninth round but up up until then it was actually like a 50 50 um battle between the two fighters and in fact they just they all laid it on the line in the ring and it was really an intense one to watch so really an intense one to watch but yeah aj aj did his best but apparently his best couldn't get him to win 
and he took another L. Oh man, AJ is not used to losing. It's not used to losing, man. Yeah, it's not used to losing. I could see it. Um, he was he just tried to contain himself and tried to keep his composure after taking such an L. And um, apparently, um, someone kind of like said something to him at the backstage that even got him aggravated and he kind of like wanted to interrogate the person yesterday. I say, but that aside, AJ eventually couldn't hold back in the post conference. AJ actually cried, he cried in the post conference. And if you watch the post conference, you say that AJ couldn't contain himself. They asked him a question if he was proud of himself and. He didn't know the answer answer to give. He didn't know the answer to give in that quest in that um in that conference and um, apparently he lost all his guard, all his shield and everything that was trying to was still trying to keep that composure, still trying to comport himself. But man, he really was really hurt by the the defeat because really you know when it's one thing when you've trained trained your best and you are ready to give out, you really giving your best and you really wanted this and AJ really did that like. You could see that he put in his best in the, in the work. He did his training, did everything he could do. It's just that, I mean, Usek. Usek is way experienced. He has, a, he has a lot of mature experience. And the guy is just a very good technical boss, boxer. He knows how to adapt. And he just knows... He knows when to do... He knows what to do at the right time and how to save his energy for the later rounds and everything. Usek is just that kind of guy. And, um, yeah... Ose came out victorious. Uh, but kudos to AJ too. AJ did well. AJ tried his best. He came in. He came in. He came in with his best performance, really. But eventually, his best wasn't just good enough. So now we are. Kamaru's man is no longer the the welterweight champion, and Leon Edwards is the new welterweight champion. And the only guy holding it down for Nigeria right now in the UFC is Israel Adesanya, the last style bender. So, um, man, it's, it's, a, it's a hard pill to swallow, but this is it. Two else for Nigeria, and um, yeah, we hope that um, Anthony can see past this one and um, adapt and move further, like, and still go out and win big, you know. I just I just wish the best for Anthony Joshua, you know, um, and also for Kamara Rusman. I know Kamara Rusman is entitled to a rematch, um, and I hope he does well in the rematch. You know, he, he was dominating that fight. He did everything. You know, he just he just got unlucky with that leg kick. That leg kick. He just went head bust into the leg kick, which was really sad for Kamara. So it's a sad one, and he had pill to swallow for Nigeria, and now we are down. Anyway, yeah, but it is well. We hope that our guys come up strong, more people come up and, uh, you know, just come up and win big. But anyway, it's a sad day for us. But um, he who lives to fight, lives to fight another day. We had this to say that thing. So, till another time, yeah, I just wish us our fighters well and I wish. Everybody. Yeah.